talk about how the key to managing all these things is managing your actions and you talk about vertical and horizontal action management. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit more about what those are? Horizontal management says during any 24-hour swath in your life, how many things do you think you have to manage? How many things do you need to intake, figure out what it means, figure out where it goes? A busy person you know, in their, during their work day in, in 10 minutes is likely to deal with an angry customer, a printer that just went down, a staff person about to break into tears, they think they might need to take to lunch, their life partner just calls and says, by the way, could you pick up bread on the way home? That could all happen within about five minutes. So managing that, if you, that's all mismanaged, at the end of those 10 minutes, you just need a beer or <laughs> a nap or <laughs> God, what happened. If you manage it well, you go, that goes there, that's where that goes, that's where that goes, that's where that goes, and you have the ability to, to navigate through your ecosystem of all of those aspects, rapidly knowing what it is, what it means, where it then goes, with place, appropriate placeholders so that you give total full attention to the other thing, as opposed to taking one meeting to the next or home to work or work to home. So that's managing horizontally you know, across all of that. So you have to have the ability and the integrity to manage cat food, strategic plan, angry customer, you know, uh, staff person in tears. It is a martial art. That's not an analogy. It's the truth. Mm. Boom, that, boom, that, boom, that. It's like a, like a martial artist fighting four people at once. They actually don't fight four people at once. It's one at a time, but very quick refocusing with just calibration about that's where that is, that's where that is, that's where that is, let me engage here. So they know how to do that very fast. So that's, that's really what this methodology in its elegant black belt form looks like managing horizontally. Mm -hmm. I know how to take all those inputs. But managing vertically says, should you even have a cat? Why do you have a pet? You know? So now you're going to need to go vertically. This says, okay, and we've identified six horizons, and I couldn't get it any simpler than that, that you have commitments. You have the action level, the phone calls you need to make, the emails you need to send, the cat food you need to buy, stuff you need to talk to your boss about. And that's that action level. But a lot of that's driven by the next horizon up what we call horizon one, which is projects. The projects, the things you need to finish. Hire the assistant, launch the ad campaign, get a cat, uh, you know, handle whatever. So that's the next horizon, which are projects. So there's a level of commitments there. Right? Very few people, by the way, have the inventory of all their projects. But the projects and the actions are driven by the next horizon, which are all the areas of interest and focus that you need to maintain and manage. Your health and vitality, your relationship, your fun, your strategic thinking, your, you know, all the aspects of your job, asset management, customer service, your org chart, if you will. So that's horizon two, which are all those areas. Right? Now, if you had all that clear, that, that'll probably help you decide which projects you really need to make sure you have and which actions you need to take and so forth. However, move up another horizon of commitment and say, well, where do you want to be by you know, 24 months from now? In the next year or two, what, do you, what are you committed to finish? You, know, you want to get in shape, you need to you know, handle this your financial thing about this, you want to make sure that you've, you need to handle a move that's going on career-wise, I don't know. So that's objectives and goals, what a lot of professionals would look at in terms of their strategic plan or operational plan. That'd be horizon three. But the reason you have that is you have horizon four, which is the vision you have. Where are you going lifestyle-wise? Why are you even doing interviews like this, you know, in this kind of, in this kind of you know, learning organization, right? Probably because some part of you has a vision in terms of lifestyle or career you know, that says, wow, you know, this, this is what wild success for me would look like. I'll be doing these kinds of things, potentially. So a long-term picture or a long-term plan of wild success would be horizon four vision. But what drives all that? Why are you on the planet? What's your basic purpose as a human being? And what are the real, really, really important things you know, for you, no matter where you go or what you do. So that's purpose and, and values, which is horizon five. So if you say, well, that's vertical management. Call How aligned are those? Is the email you're sending managing a project you need to finish, which is handling a key area of accountability, which, by the way, you need to handle because of where you're going a year from now, which the reason you have that is because you have this vision that's lined up. And the reason you're doing that is you're trying to fulfill your purpose. If those are all lined up, I go, lady, yo, you are on. <laughs> So that's vertical management would be how well have you got those inventories clarified and how well have you aligned to make sure that you are as rigorous with defining vision as you are with execution on it.